the last uh, accomplishment I, I could probably say is my most, um, means the most to me is uh, when the hospital was going to close, uh, the president or the CEO of the Adventists I, uh, stated that he was locking the doors the next day. And Mike Trujillo was the uh, city manager at the time, and I believe he was in Santa Fe at the time that this, this happened. So I went to see this gentleman, and I can't remember his name. Does anybody remember his name? He was the CEO with the Adventist running the hospital. And uh, so I went to him and I said, what do you need for us to do, you know, to keep you from closing this hospital? He says, Cookie, you've got to take it over. It needs to become a community hospital. So I said, okay, I was working for Sherry Fletcher at the time, and I said, Sherry, I need to take the day off. I need to have annual leave because I've got to go have an emergency meeting with the commission. So um, I, she let me have the day off. I got a hold of Mike Trujillo. He says, call an emergency meeting. You were there, Lois. <laughs> so we did, and, uh, and Freddie was there too, I believe. And uh, we drew up a resolution that said that we needed to take some action, that we were interested in having a community hospital. Well, at the time, and I don't know why this happened, but the county commission was meeting on the same day that we had our emergency meeting. They were meeting the same day at the convention center next door. I don't know why that place was packed for a county commission meeting. Well, we all went over, the full commission went over there, and we interrupted their meeting. We apologized for not being on their agenda, but we had an emergency situation. And so I asked them if, if, if we would be allowed to speak with the county commission, and they said, well, of course. Um, at, the, at the time, I think the city commission and the county commission worked well together, so I read the resolution. So they needed to take it to a vote to see if they were going to agree, if the county commission was going to agree with the city commission that we were going to take over the hospital. And they did. They took it to a vote. They agreed. And that was the beginning of it becoming a community hospital. So I went back up to the hospital, and the Adventist CEO handed me the key. I turned around and handed the key to Mike Trujillo, and I said, you have a hospital. <laughs> Which was a good thing, too, because he was very good friends with Pam Galbraith, who was the CEO of the uh, University Hospital in Albuquerque. And she helped us so much keep that hospital open. She was able to allow us to go into contract with her hospital, University Hospital, to bring in all the medications that we need and so on and so forth. And then, of course, wonderful D. Rush. You know, D. Rush ran it then, and she's running it now. So um, very exciting times. You did a fine job. Thank you, Lois. You were right there with me. <laughs> I tried. And Lois, what do you remember about your, your term? Well, I'll tell you, I've had some severe memory loss lately. <laughs> <laughs> but I've enjoyed every minute I have been out here and everything I've done. And people like this all over. I hear all these people telling you what they've done, and I have to say, I really don't remember. <laughs> but, uh, what, a couple of things that I remember during your during your uh, your tenure as mayor was one that you and Cookie with Mike Trujillo you brought in the what I would consider the first time of doing some strategic planning, mm -hmm. and we did that up in Hillsboro, oh, and yeah. I think that Lori has done a wonderful job in maintaining that strategic planning, so that the and you know it was funny the the night that you had your meeting and I'm sitting in the back. I, it was reminiscing about when Cookie, when I was doing the strategic planning and we were working on that, all these same issues, here we fast forward 20 years, they're still there. And you were a key, you know, you were a key part of that. And I think the other thing that I recall too, Lois, was that you always wrote a weekly newspaper article that kind of kept people abreast of what was going on. <laughs> yes, that was good. And, and I think that was good because it was a reflective piece and it just showed you know, the makings, and things were much milder when, you know, you were in on the commission at that time when you were mayor. I mean, you know, and then we just, we go through the periods of time when new new people move in, and there just seems to be some rough water, and then either people align and become part of the solving the problem rather than being the problem, or they move on. And I think Rose was involved in a lot of the things we're talking about. Yes. That I done. She was involved in a lot of the things that I've done that Cookie done. Mm -hmm. done. So she's been involved. She's had her hand in it too. Mm -hmm. I I really feel strongly that I've been a part of this city and been interested and uh, 
but I didn't realize that everybody else grew up here from the time you were little kids. <laughs> I, I appreciate the fact that you let me in. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Louis, when I grew up here as a little kid, that wasn't impressive. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing I remember about Lois before she got elected, and I think this is probably why she got elected, is she did such a fantastic job as the president of the Chamber of Commerce for years. And people knew you, and they you had a reputation for, for doing such a good job, and I think that's what allowed you to be elected by the public. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just feel if you're going to do something, you might as well just go do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she did a good amount of fun. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, it's been fun, and this has been a wonderful day. Cookie, you also have another distinction. Uh oh. That you 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 followed in the footsteps of your of your father. Yes, I did. Um, in fact, I wrote some of this stuff down. I found it interesting. I called the city to get the information. Actually, uh, Dad served. Um, he was first elected at age 56, and he served for seven years. But prior to that. Uh, my dad was appointed to the city commission at age 36 in 1954, but the records do not indicate if he ran for the position. Well, he didn't run for the position because he was appointed, but we don't know if he was appointed to serve in that position for one year because of an absence of another trustee is what they were called then or not. So then he did run again uh, seriously in 1974, age 56, and he uh, served for seven years. I also served for seven years, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I would have been in my 20s, um, and uh, a lot of things happened while Dad served, and he served for mayor for much of that seven years because he was the town barber. And he did a lot of city business in the barber shop. I mean, if people had a problem, or had a concern, sure. they would go to the barber shop. That's where you know, beauty shops, barber shops. Everybody talks about everything in those areas. I used so, to. I'm not uh, interrupted, but I used to sign shoes in the barber shop. In the barber shop. And that's where he would sign the check, payroll check, to bring them in. <laughs> come, and he'd sit there and well, you'd have everybody to sign the payroll checks. Uh -huh. And other business, like you say, other documents you would sign. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Which you can't do that today, but in them days, no. Right. You could. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so he was a big influence for me, I think. Basically because he had such high morals, and he was a very fair man. He was very strict with us when we were growing up, but he was he had a great personality. He was a lot of fun. People just loved him. Laurie? Well, Freddie's got a list. Yeah. So, oh. Freddie's got a list. Well, we talked so about the veterans wall. You know, I'm, uh -huh. I'm glad I was part of it. Uh, Bobby Allen was a chamber president. Come to be where Kate Bob's having breakfast, and he said, "I can buy the wall." For, you know, I said, "Buy it." I said, "I'll uh, I'll help you." And Bobby was the one that got started, and of course, uh, we signed an old bullet, bar two myself. I think it was like two, three hundred thousand. And then, of course, Bobby been real. He's still working at it today, but he, Diane Hamilton uh, went to her, and that's where all of my company. I haven't done any work, I just on the road and Bobby done all the work. And, <laughs> but that's one of the things I, I'm really proud of that I was involved with. Uh, uh, when I was in with Mayor Dar, Glenn uh, Bruns was the city manager, we uh, of course bought the high school and you know that from there went to the library, the tennis courts, and the five beer planets in the safe or somewhere. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> the Veterans Center, I remember I guess about time in 1985 when I first went on. We had lost Kerry Dingley, it was sitting up the dead, we didn't know what to do with it. And finally, uh, I just quit and the Mayor Dar went to work and uh, and they got that that done. They got that open, it's long, so I won't go into that. So those things, the Pachinago Dam, which again, uh, flood control dam. Before that, it was a Poway Dam, because we didn't have to do that, but we supported it. I mean, I wasn't with the mission then for the Poway Dam, I was for the Pachinago Dam. So it was part of we done, uh, uh, moved the people all out, and of course that was a big fight because uh, people from Chile said we're going to flood them out. And I'd say to the dam stop below, you can't stack one, you we can't flood you, it's going to go to the dam. You know? And uh, another thing, Walmart, talking about Walmart, I can remember, Cook was the convention with George Price, 
They demanded a Walmart. They wanted a Walmart. And they're going to come back to the commission. They don't want a Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you see, uh, uh, of course, the upgrades in 95 and uh, 1985 when I went on, the electric problem we completely got it on and we rebuilt it because, I say we, because of all the commissions. It was about to fall. In fact, REA uh, was trying to get us to sell it to them. And I said no, because <laughs> that was, you know, our, our, our main uh, money maker, you know. And of course, the swimming pool was still working on it. The golf course was another, okay. I, mean, I think he said that. Yeah. That was nothing but a dust bowl. But we walked out, got Richard Trujillo uh, to come I was in support with Victor uh, at a golf tournament. He asked me about the job. I said, yeah, you got to, you know, we're going to get one. And a golf pro. So he applied for it, and we got a lawsuit because he won. I think my brother had carried the contract to the city, and they should have done that. So there was a lawsuit. I'm not going to mention it ain't, but uh, we have to pay off 10000 But anyway, the golf course today, they've got a nice golf course. they got a nice swimming pool. And the thing about this, you know, the city of TRC is a very good neighbor to Williamsburg, uh, Alpha View, and the county. You know, we have you know, the libraries, the airports, the golf course, the ball fields. You know, we first that for all the surrounding kids. I mean, you never hear any commissioner griping about that. that. You as taxpayers are paying for these things. And, you know, like our library, we talked about it. You know, we've asked for money, but we don't get none. But that's... We got a very nice library, very good library, and uh, our parks are in good shape. But uh, we can go on and on. I've been with uh, the, the commissioners that I've served with. I don't guess there's any been. We have arguments, but everybody, like I say, they're their own. Their own, you know. They're not. Uh, uh, you know, we don't. Uh, how would you say it? three on two or something like that, you know, I, I'm myself, I'm going to, she's herself. I might argue with her, I argue with her a lot. Bobby Allen, brother, oh, that's a guy that I really used to fight with. But it's because I want to get my point across what I thought. After the meeting, well, we're still friends, we're going to have coffee. But we, I worked with some real good commissioners, back to the old timers, uh, Mary Carr, and City Manager Clint Grunzer. And you talk about getting money, you know, he had his way with, uh, in Santa Fe, he, we didn't ask for a whole lot of money, but he did the back door to uh, Senator Smalley. He went and said, well, we need this, these jobs, and, and he'd get it done, he'd come back home. But then as you know, progressed, things got different. Well, then that's when, I like thought he said, we started going to Santa Fe, that's when, like that time, what uh, Karen Pell is to get money for our sewer plant. And that's an ongoing thing. Glory is the same way we work. It's, it never ends, you know, we always, Expand the surplus. We just bought about uh, 20 acres or 17 acres, or something like that, to expand. A lot of people don't know that, but we got the property now. If, if, uh, I think we were at like 85% of the top, but when it grows, we've got, we've got the property. 